I mean, I, I always had a, a dream to, to play college athletics, and, and it was pretty much always baseball. I mean, my dad jokes that first time I picked up a baseball, it was going to be baseball for me. Um, I can't quite remember that far back, but for as long as I can remember, I've always wanted to pitch and play baseball. I was always, you know, up there, kind of tall, but eighth grade was a big one. In uh, August, before I started school in eighth grade, I was six foot, and then May, when I finished that year, is six eight. So I did eight inches and about three shoe sizes that year. And pretty much every time I go out in the public, I, I get asked, you know, how tall I am, especially around here, you know, do you play basketball? And uh, I actually disappoint a lot of people when I tell them, you can, like, are you on the basketball team? Like, no, I'm on the baseball team. You can kind of see their shoulders just like shrunk. They're like, oh man, I thought I was going to meet a basketball player today. Well, one of the pros obviously is just the levers. You know, I, I, I'm closer to the play when I release the ball, and, you know. I think there's some sort of study done like every inch that you're taller than 6'4", 6'5", is like an extra mile an hour on your fastball or I don't know, my, my dad was telling me about that, I didn't read too much into it, but just the, it, it's a game of inches and so every added inch that you can have is, is an advantage in some way um, and so just those longer levers obviously is nice to have, you know, releasing the plate closer and, and this and that, but one of the cons is, is body control. Um, you know, things in my mechanics and that I have to think about aren't the same that somebody that's 5'11 or even like 6'3 has to worry about if they're a pitcher. Um, so just the, the repeating, repetition of the delivery and, and body mechanics and body control is typically a really big uh, downfall for, for guys being really tall and especially lanky uh, when they're pitchers. It's weird, you know, knowing you're going to have a good game. I mean, you really don't know until you kind of look back at that scoreboard and see the result. Um, I can point back to even this year and last year, at least three or four times where I felt absolutely awesome. My arm was 100%, my body was great, everything felt in rhythm, and you know we lost, or you know, I just I really didn't pitch that well. So, I mean, you can guess as much as you can, but you really don't know that you have something going until you look up at the at the scoreboard or at the end of the game and realize what you did. On the mound today, Morgan Tucky is the right hander, number 30, Sean Shelley.